Well, a local bakery is making the best of a potentially bad situation after taking its fair share of heat for a controversial batch of cookies that went viral on social media. Josh Hoggard spoke with the general manager at Margie, Margie's Bakery and Deli this afternoon. So Josh, what exactly made this post so big? So Carney, it apparently all started with five sugar cookies with frosting spelling MAGA, the abbreviation for the phrase Make America Great Again, adopted by former President Donald Trump's supporters. Now it's completely blown up. Margie's is on talk radio shows, fielding calls from sitting U.S. congressmen, and I was told even Tucker Carlson is reaching out to them to tell their side of the story. The past 48 hours have been a whirlwind for Margie's Bakery in Delhi and their general manager, Andrew Morrow, all thanks to a batch of cookies with MAGA on the top. Michael, the owner, was like, you ought to take a picture and post them. With today's political climate, especially when it comes to social media, Morrow said he was hesitant, aware of the backlash they might receive. We knew there would probably be some negative. We know how divisive this world can be. But they'd done the same exact thing with a different themed cookie earlier this month. The beginning of June is Pride Month. We did rainbow cookies. So we thought, what could be the harm? It's a cookie, you know, it's a cookie. And the initial reaction from the community was sweet until someone along the line decided to share that to a global baking page. It blew up within maybe five hours, six hours. And that's when all the sweetness wore off as people from around the country who've never even been to Wichita Falls started intentionally writing negative reviews about the bakery full of hate, vulgarity, even false allegations against employees. Content in their reviews that I can't even share. People were figuring out our names, attacking our families, and it tanked our score from a long-standing 4.9 out of 5 to 3.9 in 30 minutes. And so we knew we had to remove the post. But the community they've been a part of for more than five decades had their back. They didn't want to see us suffer because of a few, few people that don't even know who we are. Within mere hours, Margie's rating was back up to 4.8, and their sales have quadrupled, with people coming from well beyond Wichita Falls just to buy a MAGA cookie. Yesterday, we made 2,200 uh, MAGA cookies. Today, we're on track to do another 22, if not 24. Mora was adamant that promoting some political agenda isn't what Margie's is all about. Just because this got more traction than rainbow cookies did doesn't mean that this is what we are trying to push on people. It's all about meeting the community's demand. If this is what people want, and this is what I'm making 2,200 of a day, then that's, that's what I'm gonna make. Morrow's completely blown away by the response to the cookies, and he has his city to thank. The entire town came together and said, we're fighting for a place that we love. Taking something bitter and making it a sweet success. We couldn't thank Wichita Falls enough for the love that's been shared over the past two days. Now, if you want one of Margie's MAGA cookies, you can swing by the store on Caulfield and McNeil, but be ready to stand in line for a while. And just so you know, Morrow had a lot more to say to his fellow Wichitans in a thank you video that he released today. And you can find that and much more on our website, texomashomepage.com. All right, Josh, thank you so much for that report. We appreciate it.